Good morning. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Thursday, March 2nd. A hearing is scheduled for this afternoon for Mark Muffley. The man from Carbon County is accused of taking an explosive device to Lehigh International Airport in Allentown. That explosive device was found in a checked suitcase. Four young men charged in a deadly shooting outside of Roxborough High School will find out today if they'll be charged as adults. Prosecutors say the suspects ambushed a group of football players after a scrimmage last September. And a manhunt underway for a suspect accused of stealing a car with a baby in the back seat. This happened on 69th Street in Upper Darby last night to a delivery driver while she was picking up an order. The mother and baby were later reunited. Let's get you caught up on our next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Kate Bilo. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Janelle. Yeah, let's take a look at what to expect today. Some big changes on the way. We had fog around this morning and showers. Those are finally starting to move out. And then a few breaks of sun this afternoon will help temperatures rise briefly into the low 60s. Enjoy it while it's here because it does get colder by this evening. Here's a look at what to expect as we go through the rest of today and into tomorrow. Our next storm is on the way. Fog and clouds, showers clear out quickly. A little bit of filtered sun there in the afternoon will allow temperatures to rise, but then winds switch in the evening. A northwest wind picks up, gusty breeze and colder air filtering in. That'll set the stage for our next storm, which arrives tomorrow. A little bit of morning sun, perhaps, and then clouds increase. It's still dry through the lunch hour, but by about 1 o'clock, rain will arrive in the city. Could start as a brief mix. You see the blue and purple right there in the north and west suburbs between about eh, maybe noon and 2 or 3, but then very quickly, this changes over to rain. It will stay relatively light for the evening commute and then pick up in intensity tomorrow night. Again, the heaviest downpours between about 8 p.m. and midnight. One to two inches of rain could fall. Clouds look to hang on on Saturday, possibly a morning shower, some snow in the Poconos, but otherwise we are drying out for the weekend. So your next seven days from next weather and next weather alert day for your Friday with heavy rain in the evening hours, especially in a mix north and west. The weekend dries out. We'll be back to the 50s and sunshine returns by Sunday. Janelle, we'll send it back over to you. All right. Thank you, Kate. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.